at a completed unit. We've just stepped outside of the factory. We're finally to one of the coolest parts for me because I'm an IT guy, a computer geek, and that's the in command, which I don't know anything about except that it's awesome. So I'm gonna let Matt, the expert, talk about it. I will say this, and hopefully he touches upon it, I can't imagine he won't. When you get in there and look, look at the color-coded wires. So when we started this whole conversation way back at the beginning, you're kind of seeing number one, all of it put together, but then the importance of these wires. So I'm not gonna steal your thunder. Yeah. Go for it, buddy. So like you said about the wiring, a couple years ago when we started switching over to color-coded wiring, we were also working on this system with one of our partners, ASA, called In Command. Um, the color-coded wiring provided the infrastructure for us to be able to bring this sort of technology uh, to the RVs. I'll tell you the reasons why that I chose to put In Command in the Cougar, or why we as a division decided to put In Command in the units. There's some cool features with it, like it allows you to, to, to utilize your, 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 uh, your telephone, your Android device, your iPhone device to be able to operate your slide rooms, to be able to turn on and off lights, to operate your awnings. Those are some really neat functions of that system, but to me it's not the most important function of the system. This system provides the infrastructure for additional redundancy in your system, okay? For those customers that, that don't care to use their phone, that's not a big benefit to you, right? If you don't care to have it on a remote, but you do have all of your stuff located in a central spot. But the redundancy I'm talking about is that every unit now has, within command, you have the ability to operate your slide rooms via your smartphone, uh, via your um, display commander that's inside on your panel. You can operate it right here on every, this is what we call the BCM that you're gonna see in the pass-through of every unit. You see all those different modes? That's gonna be an override that allows you to operate um, if, the, if the panel inside went out or your phone wasn't working for whatever reason, it allows you to be able to operate your motor functions, being your side room and your awnings, right from that, that control panel. And then every slide out in a Cougar is also has a manual override in it. So you actually have four different ways to operate your awnings. Four different ways to operate your awnings, okay? So customers call me and they're, they're concerned about this technology, like, well, what if it goes bad? Will anything work? Our old KIB control monitor panel, like everybody else in the industry uses, uses a switch to operate it, or you can use it manually. So you, in those older type systems, you only have two ways to operate your slide rooms. In a Cougar, you have four different ways to operate your slide rooms. So it's that redundancy in that system that when customers go to look at an in, a unit within command, should give them the peace of mind that they have more ways to operate their systems. Um, you also have the ability with this new generation three in command with Global Connect to activate your unit remotely so if you're at a campground you're hooked to wi-fi or you got a hot spot in your unit you're hooked to wi-fi and you're out shopping or you're a seasonal camper where you leave your rv at a campground and you're, you're getting ready to head over there you can actually from your phone go in and turn on your air conditioner uh, you can turn on your lights um, there's a panic feature inside of it that allows you from your phone or from the display commander inside to hit a button to make every light blink on and off so if you were in danger if you had an intruder coming around or if you just weren't feeling well and you needed some help you can hit a button and make all your lights on the inside and outside flash as, a, as a panic alarm there's all sorts of cool things the other thing that it does is customers think well i don't want to operate my lights via the remote or the control panel we have more redundancy there we put um, what's called momentary switches for your bedroom and your living room. We're able to put those switches in better spots for the customer. Instead of walking in into a central location that's in the unit to operate all your lights, you have the ability to do it from that central location. You have the ability to do it from your phone anywhere around, in or around the unit. Or we also have those momentary light switches in places that are much better for the consumer than the old way that we built those, those units. And then from a thermostat standpoint, in command also controls your, your 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 AC system and your thermostat. Well, if you walk into any RV, your thermostat's usually in a central location right in front of the door. And in some cases it is with a Cougar as well, but we're able to position, they're called remote temperature probes, to put them in better locations to be able to serve that customer better, to be able to get a better uh, temperature reading in their living room or in their bedroom. So you have more functionality in the unit than any other phone. You have a, a, a panic alarm, you have the ability to operate your lights, um, your awning lights, your bedroom lights, your ceiling lights, either from your phone or from the display commander or from switches. You have redundancy in this system, so you have four different ways to operate your motor functions. And the, the last piece of this, which is I think is incredible technology that's out there, is that we partnered with ASA with this Global Connect that if your unit is hooked to an internet connection, if you're at your camp, at the campground, or even if you're at the side of your house and you're hooked to your Wi-Fi, um, 
and you had something that goes wrong, you can call SA and they can remote into your unit to diag whatever problem it is. That is fantastic. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, for 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 people that are cautious about technology, mm -hmm. the technology really isn't the key on this. The technology that has based all of this around is Canvas. They call it RVC. We have more and more vendors working. We work with Dometic, we work with RVP, we're working with more and more vendors to, to put this sort of uh, CAN bus technology, or RVC technology in it, so it will work with this type of system, whether it be in command, or I know that there's several other competitors are making similar type products. Right. Um, this product, this type of technology is here to stay, and it is for the benefit of the customer, it really is. It's oh, not absolutely. just a, a gadget that's out there for them to play with, it's, it's to make the camping experience better. And if you were to talk to the guys down on the line, and ask them what they think about it. They're because they're a great judge of you know they're the ones that are building it, they're the ones that are installing it. It's a simple install, it's virtually bulletproof. We have very few problems with it. Um, and we are, we're working with companies that stand behind it. Right. So it, it is it is something that's just absolutely fantastic for the customer. I'm excited to see where that this is gonna go over the next couple of years and what it's gonna give us the ability to do. Right. And it's awesome that Cougar's right on the forefront of it and that we have the infrastructure and the technology and that foundation to be able to take this to completely a different level. I love technology. I've always loved technology, but if I didn't, that sales pitch you gave me right there, I'm like, hey, can't hurt. And when you see all the other features of bells and whistles in a Cougar, that's just an added bonus. I mean, that's one more reason to buy a Cougar. So this is the display commander for the in-command system. This is gonna be located in a central location in the unit. You're gonna have tank monitoring system up here. Um, these are gonna be quick access buttons, so turning on and off your water pump is as easy as touching right there. Your water heater, if you want it on gas, electric, or both, it's right there. Here's your panic function. So I don't know if you can get a look at that, but when you hit that panic, all your lights inside the unit and outside the unit will flash on and off. Okay. To operate your slides and your awnings, you'll come in here. This is another nice feature of the system that you go into most units and there's buttons that say slide one, two, three, and four, but you have no idea what it operates until you push the button. Now they're all properly, lab properly labeled. You have bed slide, kitchen slide, sofa slide on off door side, sofa slide on, on driver side, and awning. So all you'd have to do is hit those buttons to operate it. Go back to the home screen light groupings so you have ceiling which is going to be in your main living room area your bedroom and your awning light so they can all be functioned right from here okay HVAC and this is one of the cool things for, for this system is so now you have two different zones you have zone one and zone two you're looking at one of those remote temperature probes that's located here there's another one in your bedroom gives you the ability to you'll see front AC so right now I'm going to operate the front AC that's in the bedroom you can set it for heat cool you can set it for both you can also set timers set up to, to turn on and off automatically you're not going to get that sort of functionality in a typical dom dometic thermostat that gets shipped from the factory so you can actually change the schedules of these things um, you can go in here same thing with the rear AC um, you can actually set your fan to just run without AC on it. You can time that up because it is filtering the air when you do that. And all of this functionality that you see right here uh, is also, uh, you can use it from your smartphone. So or an Android or an iPhone device, okay? Um, so, so everything that you see here can be done either while inside the unit or outside the unit. It can be done from another part of the country as long as your unit's being hooked to uh, the internet. And we've also designed, had this designed with a lockout feature. So none of this stuff will work once the unit's in motion. So once you plug in the seven way plug in the back of your truck, your brake lights are activated, it locks out all of your motor functions. So somebody couldn't accidentally grab your phone and run your slide out as you're going down right, the road. Right, so, that makes total sense. So there was a lot of thought put into this system to be um, uh, useful to the customer for safety features. Um, just a, just a really fantastic system.